Uh, Manon is, is a specific play from, from uh, 18th century in France, so that it's made of a taste then, and what's rewritten by, for, by a musician in 19th century, dreaming about 18th century, and we do it now. So we have to find all the crispy colors of all this, those periods of time. So there are many, many options possible for that. I tried to make it as pure as possible in terms of set, not too much, too much of decoration. And it's a style which requires from the singers to be great, great performers. It's opera comique in, in France, means in French, means opera comique, means people acting and speaking. So they have to be able to be good, good performers. So I'm working a lot, a lot, a lot with them on this aspect of not only vocal, but also physical and acting. So my project will be really to prepare them in order to make this, all this intimate aspect of the piece absolutely clear and to be received by the audience. It's in a way, in a very intimate piece. It's not like the, like Aida, uh, huge, even if Aida is also very intimate in some parts. <laughs> but anyway, it's not that kind of spectacular uh, big, big thing. It's more what is interesting in it, it's what is going on between the characters. And then there is a huge work to do there. It's a huge field to discover. And in terms of, uh, of uh, context, what I wanted to do is to create a context made of all those elements uh, coming from 18, 19th century, and nowadays. And for instance, we mix in the costume, we mix in the set, in the props and everything. We mix all those elements in order to create a time, a period of time specific for Manon, which is the result of the meeting between the piece and the audience today. I'm always trying to give uh, the audience the feeling that it could happen in front of her in, in their life, but in a world of fantasy. For sure, theater is not real life. It's fantasy, you have to create it, but give this impression that it's right now a day. So, mixing everything. <laughs> I'm very happy of the work, of, of yeah. the, the, the collaboration. For me, it's totally this uh, discovery because that's my very first time in Lithuania. But I'm used to work also in theater, which are working the same kind of way. So it means with a, with an ensemble, a group of singers belonging to the house. My my first experience is to to work with two casts. So it's it's always like doubling, doing something with one, and then we have to repeat with another one. So it's it's, it's it can be extremely uh, exciting because you, you every, everyone is completing the other one. So we can compose through the work of everyone. It's a huge work, <laughs> and especially for non-French speaking uh, um, uh, singers, it's very, very complicated because the French is so horrible to sing when you're not used to it, when you don't have the technique for that. It's, it's a huge work, but I'm, I'm very happy to see how, how the, 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 the singers from, from the house are so much willing to, 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 to understand and to, 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 to make it, uh, to enjoy making it. That's one of the, let's say, challenge when you do a Manon with non-French speaking singers. But it's going, it's going more and be better and better and better and they are on the very good way. I, I do believe that the story of a young lady who wants to listen uh, a call for freedom and pleasure belongs to our period of time.